Hello, am I audible? Hi, Kirtwal. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching videos. Okay, great, great. Just waiting for a few more folks to join. Hello, good evening guys. Am I audible? I think I'm audible. Let me go ahead and share my screen. In just a moment. We are just waiting for a few more folks to join. Give me a few minutes. Meanwhile, I'm just doing some settings also. Uh, let me share only one screen actually. Otherwise you guys will get disturbed with comments also, right? So I will just share the whiteboard with you because I don't want you to get disturbed with comments.
Yeah, what is the question? Is Hadoop a good option? Yes, yes, Hadoop is a good option. Why not? So what I will do is I will I will just start with the session, okay? And let others join. Let others join. We will start the session and uh, um, whatever questions you have, whatever questions you have, we will discuss that towards end of the session, okay? So um, welcome everyone for joining. You can just go ahead and press a like so that the recommendation goes to other people about the video and they will be able to join, okay? So just go ahead and press the like on the YouTube. First of all, what we are here for, we are here to discuss how to um, prepare resume for freshers, okay? So I will explain all these process like uh, what is the don't, what is do's. So here I will tell you what not to do. Here I will tell you what to do. And here I will, I will in front of you create a simple resume. Uh, the template is there. I will just try to show you what you can put and how it will make sense. Okay. So before that, guys, what all you should not do in the resume first step, right? And then we will see what to do. Then we will create a resume. So I'm going to first show you one resume here. That is a that is a kind of freshers resume I received from from, you know, um, one of my my contact. Somebody sent me this. Okay. And here you can see uh, this is the name of the person. This is the address, Bangalore something, mobile number, and the objective, and the education, and the courses, et cetera, right? And some projects the person has done, some skill sets, many things are here, right? Internship, experience, achievements. Now, can you guys tell me what are what is the problem with this resume? Why I'm showing you this resume? Can you tell me what is the problem with this resume first? Do you see any problem with this resume? This is a freshers resume because I will be talking what not to do. Okay. So do you see any problem with this resume? You can just comment in the YouTube. Right. So I will just scroll it one more time like this. Uh, so person has written some projects some skill sets and internship experience achievements personal information many things right so one problem that i am i i am seeing here with this resume is first problem and that you don't have to do is this resume is formatting is a problem which means the readability is a problem okay so don't have a you know don't have a difficult format i will say just a just a generic thing i'm saying difficult to read okay something which is difficult to read you should not have that now go to this person's resume um, i need to i need to pay a lot of you know effort to go through everything okay so here something here something suppose i want to know what is the skill set of this person right so what I will do, I will go to the skill set section. I will scroll like this in softwares, in computer, in coding, in web development. So it's not very easy. It's not very easy to understand. That is one readability problem. Okay. Second problem that you can see with this resume is the person has highlighted the education and courses and then the projects and skill sets is coming later. Okay. So the the sequence or the ordering is a problem okay sequence sequence is issue here in this resume okay so why i'm saying sequence is a issue because somebody who picks this resume right they should be able to by looking at the resume they should be able to understand what are the key skill sets of this person okay 
and for knowing to key skill sets it's not eye catching anywhere okay something first project something second project then come skill sets right and there is those problems which i'm talking now is not there with this resume but some of the resumes will have this kind of problem what problem very long resume so don't have a very very long resume which means four five page resume you are explaining 100 things about your project uh, past projects which is irrelevant for example if you have done some project in college which was not a industry standard project or not a very good project probably you don't want to explain that too much no need of that okay so don't make a very very long resume make it maximum one page to two page not very long resume sequence is important okay so i i let me write it here sequence is important because that is what the person expects to read one after another okay readability of your resume is important so you should use something which is easy to read easy to grasp okay and in in your resume um you should somehow tell to the recruiter or interviewer your achievements right so achievements was not there in this resume achievements was not highlighted at least i could not see that okay so these things you should not do in your resume what else you should not do you should not highlight lot of personal information lot of personal information for example you can you can you know uh, write how many languages you know you know 10 indian languages no need of writing that how many siblings you have no need of writing that um what is your hobby and achievements it can be very very short sorry not achievements hobbies it can be very very short no need of it to be very very detailed okay so these are few things that you have to keep in mind and then i am going to tell you what are five to seven things that you must do in your resume okay so let me write it here must do or keep in mind when you are preparing your resume okay number one is keep your resume max one to two page max one to two page how many pages you will keep in your resume max one to two page why because nobody has got time to read everything that you write in four five pages 10 pages okay what are other important things that you should do your resume should be easy to read understand this easy to read how do you make your your resume easy to read you should not you should not use some fonts which is very very difficult or you know very cursive very uh, not 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 an easy to keep it professional arial kind of fonts and keep it good okay so keep a easy to read resume third thing that you must do in your resume is highlight your achievements okay highlight highlight achievements okay how would you highlight achievements so there is a method called star star okay and you have to use this star method to highlight your achievements what is star method i will give you in a moment what is star method but first we will see what are the things that you must do in the resume okay now fourth thing and this thing i have observed in fresher resumes you must not do spelling mistake or punctuation mistake or you know a sentence mistakes or grammar mistakes no spelling mistakes i am saying but you can take like that grammar mistake punctuation mistake sentence mistake full stop comma so run it through some software if you want to but don't do this this will create a very very bad impression okay and next thing that you want to keep in mind when you are building your resume is you want to have a you want to have a active language in the resume what is the meaning of active language in the resume is active language means you have done something okay don't say that model was built no built a model i built a model so it should be coming like this for example you can say like performed okay performed or for example analyzed okay for example built okay so don't say that it was done by someone or it should not come like it was done by a team it was done by by someone no not like that so these five six things you have to keep in mind okay now one important thing here is this star method which i am going to discuss now but resume should be short 
you should always use active which shows that you are the one who did that task you should highlight your achievements it should be easy to read and maximum one to two pages okay now come here and understand what is star okay so star stands for s t a r okay and here s stands for situation situation okay and t stands for task okay a stands for action okay and r stands for result okay now what is the meaning of situation task action result is there was a existing business problem or whatever projects you worked on right there was a problem and that was a situation now there was a task that was needed to be done okay that 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 task you you were trying to achieve right and then there was a action that you took and then there was a result that was obtained from that okay so an example of this will be for example i can say that um i will just write a sentence here book my show book my show which is a you know movie booking platform book my show was facing okay was facing fraud fraud uh, you know ticket booking fraud ticket booking by bots by bots okay which which needed to be identified which needed to be identified okay so fraud ticket bookings in book meso needed to be identified okay built a built a who built you built built a ml model built a ml model which reduced which reduced okay fraud fraud booking fraud booking by 80% okay now here some of the keywords are important guys so what is the situation in the beginning was facing fraud ticket booking so this is the situation okay what is the task in hand task in hand is fraud ticket booking what need to be identified so situation is done task is done what was the action that you took you built a machine learning model and what was the result that you achieved you reduced the fraud by 80% so this what i explained here is known as situation task action as result and result so this will give you a very good um you know that the recruiter it will give give a very good understanding of you have done something meaningful even if you do some projects it will give you understanding of what 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 was your achievement okay so whenever you are highlighting your achievements follow this star method and you will be able to highlight the achievement in a very good way very eye catching way okay this is about what you should do with your resume must do must keep in mind these things when you are building your resume now let's go ahead and try to put a resume template so let's say what are the things that should be there in your resume okay so first thing should be there in your resume is obviously personal details personal details means your name email id your phone number your social media your linkedin linkedin is very important so that has to be there okay i will show you one template now don't worry we will build a resume okay then something like personal statement so personal statement means uh, in many resumes you have seen right with an objective of doing this or you know excellent team player i am this the opening line of your resume right that personal statement is very very important that should be there in your resume then previous work experience so if you are a fresher you know it can be your previous project experience or some college project that you did but normally this should be here and then you will give your key skill sets key skill sets is very important because that is what recruiters will come and read if you are a fresher then this point might not be applicable directly key skill sets will come okay and key skill sets very very important i will show you now how to write that and then education education and qualification okay qualification and then your projects and achievements projects and 
achievements achievements you will highlight what i told you now star method and then this is optional but i will keep you, i will tell you to add references okay references references means suppose you have given a uh, mock interview at unfold data science you can give that as a you know uh, link in your resume saying see this is my mock interview on unfold data science or suppose there is a college professor who who you know appreciated you for your final year project you can give that person's reference saying this person knows me somebody in industry you can give reference to somebody with whom you worked in a hackathon you can give reference to right so some references you can give okay and here either you can write six before or you can write five before okay because educational and qualification will be a very very one liner kind of thing it will not be a very large okay so let me go go ahead and show you one one simple resume template that i have with me and this is a this is a decent template which you can use and you can work with it okay so just see here this template guys in the header right in the header what i have my name designation and company okay since i have a youtube channel i will put it here you don't have you can put uh, your linkedin you can put your github you can put your um any any place like for example you built a app and you have deployed it in heroku you can my project something like that you can do okay and the the good thing about putting this in header is it will go in all the uh, parts of your resume right so here also it will go and next page also if you have it will go okay next thing that you have to do is this is your opening statement of your resume okay so here i am writing with expertise in analytics including machine learning methodology i aspire for a position to discover un uncovered possibilities in data science arena with experience in various industries i am confident to work in following aspects here it may change a little bit for a fresher person right fresher will not have a resume so this will not be there maybe you can you can write like enthusiast in data science or having worked on couple of college projects or couple of open source projects right i am confident to work on these areas so at the moment somebody picks your resume right they will be able to see that you know this is your area of expertise machine learning model building model model tuning feature engineering etc right and i was telling you your skill set should not be difficult to read okay so this i mean by that your skill set should be very very eye catching so see here i am putting in a in a table kind of format okay and if you put in a table kind of format right it will be easy for the other person to understand to grasp it so you can just break it like this put it into a table format and you can divide into expertise and exposure if you want this is optional anyway you can do that okay and as i was telling you your education will be just one liner nobody is interested in knowing more about your education okay just one liner college of engineering your engineering college what is the degree what is the year that's all no need of going into much detail of that okay and then comes your you have highlighted your skill set you have highlighted your education so let's go back to our this one personal detail you gave personal statement you gave previous work ex does not apply in fresher resume okay key skill sets we gave education we gave now let's go ahead and see what we can write in project and bullet point so i will go here and i will say for example project 1 sentiment analysis for um let's say tvs motors just an example okay tvs motors bike and remember here guys do not write big big paragraphs okay write some bullet points i will give you some example of how you can write some bullet points okay so writing big big paragraphs is not going to help you so go here and say built a, a neural network model or classifier built a classifier classifier to detect to detect sentiment on new bike of tvs motors okay and then you will start giving your keywords keywords means something on which you want you know you want your resume to be picked for example used exibust exibust and neural networks okay neural networks 
to train the model okay then you can say used pca pca for variable selection all the keywords that you want to include include like this okay and if you write in a long paragraph the problem is uh, people will not you know it's people get lazy to read long paragraphs so in bullet point more meaningful way of doing it okay so you use pca for used pca for variable selection and then you can say um, used cross validation techniques okay cross validation techniques so many things depends on your project like what you did how the data was captured how the results were what was the accuracy all these things you can put it here okay then this is your project one similar goes for project two so project two can be something like built a you know built a image classifier for a mobile app something like this okay and here again bullet points what all you did now important point here guys again it will go in bullet points okay so see here i have i have put one professional achievements in the star methodology here see solve the issue of manual monitoring of sensitive information by automating it through machine learning pca and achieved 80 percent cost savings what i'm doing here i am just highlighting in bold my situation task action and result situation task action result okay and similarly if you have more achievements you can put it here and then you can come here and you can say you know this is my first reference aman and aman can be reached out at this email id aman at gmail.com if you want you can give phone number also and mr venkat can be reached at venkat at gmail id gmail whatever gmail.com right so projects i told you it has to be a bullet wise explanation of all the keywords and specifically what task you did okay so here you can say that i built this or you know uh, performed analysis or analyzed the large data set or implemented the model these kind of words should come here okay and then your project experience will come for freshers it will not be many projects just two projects three projects it will be you can write it here skill sets you can highlight in the beginning your opening statement should be very very powerful and what all you can do and you can give your name your url etc in your header of your resume okay so your resume will not go beyond two pages one to one and a half pages and your your resume will be over ensure all the keywords that you want to highlight your resume for should come in this section which means skill set section and this section which means whatever you did your professional achievement should come in a star methodology and it should be eye catching okay because people will ask question based on this if you want to add hobbies that's an optional thing if you want to add don't write singing watching cricket that's a very very common hobby okay watching cricket and you know listening to songs don't write those common hobbies you can go here and maybe write some of the books you read something which is different that's what i mean to say for example um, uh, any hobby you can say uh, for example motivating okay it has come this side for example you can say motivating um, youths for anything um, you know save water uh anything that is interesting and and if if you know in advance like who is the interviewer right and if there is a common hobby that you can figure out or common interest that you can tweak your resume here and put it okay so make it little interesting so that the interviewer tries to connect with you on something for example if you are if you are a uh, um interested in stock market investing etc right so you can write here some warren buffett books i read right so something which can connect you to the interviewer or which is little interesting on which you can have a conversation with the interviewer fine so this is how you have to you have to prepare your resume keep it short crisp informative the right keywords the interesting uh, hobbies and your projects your references that's all you have to do guys 
now i will stop sharing and i will take your questions okay you can go ahead and paste your questions in the comment section okay where we got project for mentioned in the resume that's a very good question pius misra is asking where to get project uh, project right so for freshers you will work on different different projects based on what is your area of interest did you did you uh, participate in a kaggle competition did you participate in a hackathon did you participate in a um, in some open source project so those projects only you will put can you please drop the format again just joining can you please drop the format again okay D dropping means you want me to show show that once right uh, let me show you i will just show you afiz so the the purpose is it has to be short and crisp okay and not not much of unnecessary information mostly you will keep keep one page to two page okay you will keep your name your urls your designation or if it is not applicable it is not applicable these things then you will give your opening statement like this then you will give your skill sets then you will give your education then you will give your professional experience achievements hobbies hobbies is optional obviously if you want to give and some references so what i will do is i will put that in the in my uh, google drive okay or my github you can take from there no problem okay can a not non math person become data scientist yes you need to learn the mathematical concepts needed for data science okay um hope you are doing well can you share any free site to make resume so that we can get the templates templates you can get online um i don't remember on top of my head but yes you can get it uh if i get to know i will i will put it in my youtube community section okay can one apply directly to the post of data scientist data analyst you can directly apply for the post of data scientist no problem with that uh junior data scientist you can apply devi is asking i have a break of 3 years in my career and looking forward to resume my career how can i write my resume so you have to have explanation of those 3 years like what you were doing and you know if you are trying something else and then you can continue from there thanks someone will be expecting in google drive okay i will put that which project can a np npl novice work on many projects based on your interest right best will be to go and do some internship or hackathons those are good projects actually calculus is a scary part of data science how to overcome that you no need to know everything in calculus um there are uh, videos on my channel where i have covered the needed calculus you can just go ahead and you know learn those calculus please drop videos on transformations transformers will do no problem i am getting little less time due to many things going on but uh, i will do that not a problem did you guys like the resume template that i showed you and the do's and don'ts of the resume you can just press like button so that i know you like it sayed rafi is saying can a non it student learn data science yes obviously many people are learning not a problem you just have to learn coding mathematics etc you are good to go sumit is saying i want transition to data science currently working in tcs should i start looking for jobs or should i crack job and then put my paper i have 3 months notice period you should first 
get a job without job don't don't put your paper why why you want to take risk right bhushan is saying i want to start machine learning which resources i should follow many open source resources on on unfold data science channel also you can get many playlist andrew ng has come up with new videos uh, in in case you guys don't know and i am also myself coming up with new course in case you guys don't know that will be announced soon so you can you can pick any of these many many good materials are there how much salary should i ask for data analyst data scientist any manager see salary depends on the organization so you have to go to that organization page i mean glass door or somewhere and then ask for the salary i mean based on what they give right that's important computer vision is necessary for data science not absolutely necessary in some organizations they will have a opening for that and they will ask for the people for that my course is coming up uh, within uh, let's say my course is ready okay it's in editing is also completed it's in final preparatory stage you will very soon get an announcement okay see andrew and the videos are on youtube uh, the the previous one last one but this times videos i think it's on stanford uh, that website okay so i saw somewhere in twitter i did not go to the link actually uh, you can search for andrew and the new machine learning uh, course you will get that afiz is saying aman you are great i get to know your channel last month thanks afiz please share with your friends because many people are watching the video not subscribing please subscribe so that i also get some motivation because this is a very very niche area and if you guys subscribe and keep pushing uh, you know keep pushing the like button and comments etc then i get some more motivation to create more content yeah my course is about uh, so my course is about data science zero to hero for example somebody who is uh, coming from a different background or who is coming from a non technical background or who wants to start data science from scratch then you know what is the current situation is people are lost on the internet like what to read where to there are lot of materials there is no dearth of materials millions of materials on internet right but there is no step wise way like this is step 0 this is step 1 this is step 2 this is step 3 so my purpose here is to create a step wise flow of not too deep things you know to give you a smooth landing into data science that is what my course is about my course is already shot and edited the release announcement will be coming very very soon on the channel keep an eye on unfold data science channel it will come thank you nlp text modeling videos are there have you seen the nlp playlist devi <clears throat> what is easiest technology to get then move into data science you should learn coding there is nothing easy or difficult if you want to be in tech industry you should learn coding afiz is saying how much should we prepare down for the course um did not get the question afiz how much should we prepare down for the course okay vinod is saying hi aman keep up the good work your videos are short and easy to understand thanks vinod as i say keep sharing with your data science groups friends telegram groups you are part of that will be helpful for me okay just a moment there is some issue with the camera give me a moment i will use the computer camera
Okay, there is some issue with the camera. You can shoot your questions. Meanwhile, I will try to fix this. Okay, okay. Is, is my computer camera working? Okay, let me take. I have seen some videos, 40 lakhs. Is that true or fake? Absolutely true. Absolutely true. 40 lakhs per annum is, uh, you know, nowadays, non-data science also you can get. Not only in data science, non-data science also you can get that number. But you should not, you know, try for getting that number at any cost. That should not happen because in that case, you might end up getting into a very unstable kind of job. Okay, Afij is saying, will that be a paid course or that, that will be a paid course and price will be very, very less. Don't worry because that's a, you know, that's targeted for somebody who can come and learn. That's not something which is, you know, very, very expensive kind of course. No, it will not be that. So I'm trying to come from my computer camera. If that works, it should work. Yeah, I think this is fine now. Okay. And what else? Yes, Afiz, course will be paid course and estimate will be within 1000 rupees, I think, not more than that. And that will be a, a, you know, surface level course and it will be a hands-on will be more uh, focused. So somebody needs to do hands-on only, then only, you know, you will be able to make most of it. So I have a lot of experience, you know, training candidates and, you know, guiding people to data science area. So whatever problems I see candidates are facing based on that, I have created this course, okay? and it will be useful so if you believe that whatever i have created on youtube is useful then this will be useful okay that i can assure you <clears throat> anirudh is saying can you explain how to count learning parameters in cnn how to count means uh, you want to you want to understand from parameter point of view i mean how many parameters we can tune that point of view which platform would be the best for off-campus placement in data science? Off-campus placement is, you know, you have to go to some reputed universities only. Otherwise, they will not be able to give good uh, placement, I guess. I have completed my basic stats. I want to learn uh, machine learning one or two months. Which topic should I focus more on? You have to learn regression and ensemble models and um, neural networks at least so that you get interview calls and then you can, you know, uh, on one hand, you can start, you can uh, keep attending interviews. Other hand, you can keep learning. Both the things can happen in parallel. Okay. Any other questions, guys? So are you guys planning to switch job or are you guys, you know, happy with your current organization? What is the scenario now? Are you guys learning to planning to switch job or, you know, you are not able to do or you are trying and it's not happening. What is the scenario?
some people are saying they are planning to switch job yes because uh, you know in india nowadays salary is good in the market so you should try to you know make most of it i am seeing many people getting very very good numbers in terms of salary keep trying and see the areas where you are not doing good and you should be able to get get job i don't think it will be difficult keep improving on the area where where you are not good okay where you are stuck in the interview or resume template i already showed you just you know prepare your resume in this way keep it short and crisp and informative and if com skill is something that is kind of uh, stopping you then com skill you can try to improve can i personally talk to you please yes you can talk to me ping me on linkedin no problem for all your issues all your doubts we will be talking no problem so did you guys like the resume template and did you guys like the do's and don'ts of the resume part that i explained just now sample resume i will upload in the github git not github the google drive actually i have copied everything from google drive to github thinking people will access github but since google drive is in all the videos so people are accessing google drive only okay okay so there are some more questions coming what i will do is i will keep a keep a live session separately for this because today i had planned for this resume session only okay and uh, it's about to be one hour also so what i will do is i will keep a separate session for for you know talking on all your questions and queries okay where either here or on the instagram i will put no problem meanwhile all of you guys have a nice sunday rest of the sunday and we will meet up in the next session okay thanks all for joining and i will put the resume in the google drive okay don't worry some people are joining now you can reach out to me on linkedin or just wait for communication on the next live session and communication on the course also that is coming from me data science course okay all these will be coming in the community section of the channel okay so thanks everyone for joining yes i will notify all of you in the community section when when i come live okay thanks everyone for joining have a nice rest of the sunday take care